you're looking at Wild West Online, which is coming out on Alpha in the next few weeks. I wanted to spend a few minutes looking at the game and talking about the game, but first, let's have a gunfight. As you can see in the early part of that encounter, I decided to run into a gunfight without any bullets in my gun. And when you're playing a shooter style MMO, that's never the smart way to go. So let's talk about some of the key aspects of this game, which is coming out on PC later this year. First of all, yes, it's a lot like a certain Western game that many of us have played from Rockstar Games. Uh, Red Dead Redemption is all over this game. Uh, in terms of the way that it looks, in terms of the way that it plays, in terms of the mechanics. Uh, but there are some differences which I think are worth highlighting. First of all, obviously, this is a PC game, not a console game. Uh, Red Dead Redemption was never released on PC, and I suspect that's part of the reason why this game exists. There's a demand for it. Um, secondly, uh, Red Dead Redemption and Wild West Online, well, you know, they're Western games, and you can kind of expect to ride around on a horse and shoot some rifles and run away from posses and hunt for some treasure and all that kind of genre stuff. It's not as if Red Dead Redemption invented the, we the Western. They simply took uh, a lot of the things we love about Westerns and turned them into an extremely good video game. It plays out much like as you'd expect in a multiplayer online world. You take on the characteristics of the person you want to be and you go out and you explore uh, this map. There are uh, two main worlds. One is a kind of Arizona type frontier and the other is more northern, perhaps Montana. Uh, as you walk around or ride around, you find things that are useful to you, such as plants that you can craft into potions. You also find uh, nuggets of gold that you can use and trade uh, in order to upgrade your guns or upgrade your clothes or whatever you want to do. You can move between cabins that you find in terms of fast traveling. There's always the problem of being attacked by other cowboys or cowgirls. In this demo that you're looking at, there's still work to be done and you can see that there are not many other people here, uh, not as many as you'll find when the alpha is released. There are also, to be fair to the developers at uh, 612 Games, a few glitches and uh, as you can hear from this particular section, some of the sound effects haven't yet been added. You'll see here how we find uh, an encampment out on the range and I can get off the horse and mooch around and steal stuff that might be useful to me. And out here, there's no real negative connotations or consequences, I should say. Uh, whereas earlier in the game, you saw where the character went into somebody's home and started stealing stuff. When that happens, you take damage to your reputation and uh, the only way to improve that reputation is to do good deeds. If your reputation becomes too bad, then you'll find yourself on the wrong side of the law. And that's what's really going on in this game. The developers want you to become a character in a Wild West universe. You can be this sort of everyman Clint Eastwood type who ranges around, shooting outlaws and uh, finding lost treasure. Or you can be the outlaw himself or herself who goes around uh, just killing people willy-nilly uh, and as a result has to spend a lot of time on the run from potties and other such. Or, and this is uh, an area which interests me, you can be just a, a, regular, a regular person who runs a farmstead, who grows crops or who mines gold and tries to stay out of trouble while at the same time being able to defend oneself uh, as, well as, as well as possible. And in a, in a respect, that is the most authentic Western experience. So this is a role-playing game, and as you can see, you can go into a shop and choose your own outfit. 
Personally, I'd have gone for the uh, good, bad and the ugly style here. Uh, you earn money, as in all these games, by collecting stuff, by doing chores, by completing missions. And uh, none of these clothing articles uh, are particularly help you, although you can upgrade your, your guns and your weapons. And you upgrade yourself. You become more resilient. You perhaps can't become a better shot. You can carry more stuff. Here we are in the saloon, the good old fashioned saloon, and I've just bought uh, a treasure map, which I'll go on to use later on. And I'm gonna stand at the bar and have a drink of whiskey. And, and just like in uh, another Rockstar game, drinking this whiskey will make me kind of woozy and I'll lose uh, visual clarity. Uh, some of my skills will be diminished, but, and this doesn't really work in real life, the whiskey makes me more uh, hardened against, say, bullet wounds. So here you can see my map now it has that red cross in it where the treasure is laid and you can get a sense of the sort of world as we ride around it, that fuzziness, that drunken fuzziness will go away in a moment. Uh, as we come uh, across this, uh, this treasure, it is his own little puzzle and you'll see some markers that lead uh, the cowboy towards where the gold is hidden. I, and I suspect that when this game does come out, uh, either in alpha or as a final release, these are the kinds of places where you're going to find bad people hanging around, waiting for you either to rob you of the gold or just to kill you for the sheer hell of it. One of the things I did enjoy about Red Dead Redemption was the multiplayer aspect of it, funny enough. Although it was, as you'll probably recall, more of a sort of sh shooting game free-for-all where you ran around and killed a lot of people and got killed. And that was fun. I enjoyed it a great deal. And I'm sure there's going to be a sense of that as well, of players teaming up and, um, uh, you know, robbing some poor individual who's uh, foolish enough to be on their own or taking on other posses. And that's the sort of stuff that I'm looking forward to, as well as instances uh, which haven't been detailed as yet, but we should probably expect to see, I don't know, train robberies or protecting wagon trains or any of that sort of stuff. There is no, by the way, uh, attacks on Native Americans. Obviously that was a part of the, uh, the American experience or the American expansion and invasion of the West. Uh, but that's not a part of this game and as I said before you can play as a Native American as you want. So here I am in a store and I'm trading the gold that I uh, that I picked up before for some useful stuff, for some healing potions and um, some bullets which, uh, which are finite. You can't just go around shooting people, they cost money. And I'm also going to pick, uh, well I guess a pick, and uh, I'm going to go out and have a look for some gold. Gold, obviously, is the, uh, the the thing that animated people, at least uh, in the Hollywood version of the Old West. And just here I am, uh, mooching around in a riverbed. You can actually create a gold sieve and kind of just leave it there to collect gold. Although if you leave it too long, somebody else is liable to come along and uh, and steal it from you. So there, you know, there are opportunities to prosper without being overly violent, or at least I hope so, because I think in a role-playing game, you ought to be able to play a role. And uh, just going around shooting people is all very good fun, but other, some people just like to do things differently. So here I am with my trusty pick. You saw there the tool wheel and how that works. And we're gonna go in search of gold, and lo and behold, here is a shit ton of it. So this is Wild West Online. Uh, I'm Colin Campbell from Polygon. You can uh, find out more about it from us in the weeks and months ahead, and we'll probably be covering the alpha as well.